Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for Beer Geek Nation. Today we are looking at a very special trio of beers. Super psyched about this because the Abyss from the Shoots, one of my favorite beers, and we are actually looking at two barrel variations of this beer. And if you guys don't know what the Abyss is, the 2016, 2016 version, 11.1%, it's Imperial Stout, brewed with blackstrap molasses, licorice, dry spice with cherry bark and vanilla. 21% aged in oak bourbon barrels, 21% aged in oak wine barrels, 8% aged in oak Oregon oak barrels. Uh, and this one, very excited about this. This is the Abyss, basically the same thing, aged in brandy barrels. And this, I'm very excited about this one. It's the Abyss aged in a scotch barrels for 12 months. These are both 13%, this is 11%. Super psyched about this. Unfortunately, these two, I believe, are West Coast only. Pick them up at qualityliquorstore.com. That's where I got them. They ship them directly to you. So I'm I, I, I'm just putting it out there, guys. If you want this, one of my favorite beers. I, I've never had these beers. Super psyched about these beers. When I saw they had them, I said, Vinny, hook me up. Let's go. Want to do a review of all three. So here we go. So let me get into a glass, which I've already done. Let me let you guys know what smell it tastes. Give you the final verdict on all three of the 2016 Abyss variations. All right, guys, the aroma. Wow, lots of dark chocolate, coffee, little bit of bourbon, little bit of toast coconut. Pretty classic Imperial Stout. Ooh, very roasty. This is the brandy. Oh, very, very sweet, juicy, grape-like. Coconut, it's, it's a red wine, a viscous type of characteristic. It smells absolutely fantastic. And the scotch. Oh, very nice. A little bit of smokiness, toast of coconut, dark fruits, chocolate. But definitely very, very scotchy, that, that, that smokiness coming through. All right, so while we're here, why don't we taste all three? Eh, why not? <sighs> all right, guys, so let's taste the abysses. Oh, so good. Dark chocolate, cocoa, vanilla, Coconut, bourbon, <clears throat> definitely coming through. Dark fruits, plum, raisin. Um, it's kind of, it's an imperial stout with a subtle barrel characteristic, but it's really, really good. Super chewy, almost a little bit dank, a little bit roasty. Definitely in that like espresso type of characteristic. So let's try the, this is the brandy version. Whoa. Ooh, ho, ho. Wow. Massive brandy. Dark chocolate. It's very red wine character. Red wine just streaming through. Dark chocolate. Vanilla. A little bit of toastiness, a little bit of oakiness, but that brandy just shines through. It's a grapey red wine type of characteristic, a dark fruit characteristic comes off of the Imperial Stout. Absolutely delicious. Definitely a much, much bigger beer than the standard Abyss. Wow, the barrel just, just blows through for lack of a bird. All right, better word. All right, so let's look at the uh, Scotch version. Huh. Surprisingly mellow. Um, actually, more mellow than the original the original Abyss. Uh, very, very sweet. Vanilla, toasted characteristic. Uh, a little bit of oakiness in there. A little bit of that kind of burnt bourbon caramel characteristic. Not a lot of smokiness. I would expect the Scotch Barrel uh, to have some smokiness in there. You know, they use peated malts. You would expect some smokiness. I'm not getting that at all. Actually, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness in there, um, a little bit of grapiness in there, a little bit of dark fruit characteristic, more like a quad than anything. All very solid, all very different. 
I guess the final vertical in the Abyss trilogy, not as good as the Star Wars original trilogy, not as good as the Alien trilogy, not as good as the Godfather trilogy, but hey, they can't all be winners. The Abyss is one of my favorite beers. This one stands up tried and true. Uh, not a lot of whole, not a lot of barrel characteristics this year. Very, very still seems like a fresh Imperial Stout. Very bitter, dark chocolate, dark coffee. Um, I think the Brandy Barrel one's the one that really stands out to me. It's got a lot of barrel characteristic. That dark red wine, big dark fruits, very quad-like characteristic to it. It's basically not this beer at all. The original beer has faded away. The barrel's kind of taken over for a better um, beer. Awesome stuff. Both great beers. The Scotch Barrel, I'm going to be completely honest, kind of disappointed me. Um, it's basically the original. Uh, it's the original ab. The the original abyss. Uh, really kind of toned down. You don't get a lot of barrel characteristics. I don't get a lot of smokiness, as I would accept. As I would expect from a. Uh, Pita Barrel beer, a um, little bit of oakiness, a little bit of dark fruits, but it's really just unremarkable. I would say the winner here is definitely the Brandy Barrel one, so if you want to pick that up, again, qualityliquorstore.com. If you can, can't get them like I could, go there. You can ship them right to you. So with that said, folks, you know, you, you've heard my judgment on the beers. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Please let me know. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.